Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. This is Red Seacant. Last time we beat the final boss of Deep Jungle, which was Clayton and his Heartless. And um, now we're here in this waterfall area, and uh, we just climbed to the top, and now we're going to head in here and see what's going on. And oh my god, this has got to be the last video I'm going to record because I'm getting so tired of recording. <laughs> I have like a headache, kind of. And I don't know. I just, I this think it's just home? because I hate this world. But that means I hate Deep Jungle, huh? and I'm glad that we're just about finished with it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that was goofy. Waterfalls. They're echoing all the way here. <laughs> all the way here. <laughs> friends there. See friends. Oh, now I've got it. It means heart. Friends in our hearts. means heart. Friends in our hearts. Well, geez. Heart. Why didn't they just call the game oh, Kingdom? Hey, who, 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 ha. Friends. <laughs> Same heart. <sighs> Clayton. Lose heart. No heart. No see friends. Cute. No heart. No friends. Sorry about. Tarzan. What I said. Such wisdom. I'm and now, yeah. Sora and Donald oh, make up. Oh. So, so cute. Oh my, oh my golly. Anyway, over here, there are a bunch of butterflies. And, uh, a keyhole thing. So Sora gets out his keyblade, points it at the keyhole. Ta da! And there, listen. Yeah, cool little locking sound, huh? We still don't really know what those keyhole things are, but we sure but have sure run into them the for keys. a while. I think someone has a new admirer. I think <laughs> this is a really weird. <laughs> I, I guess this is just them trying to have a funny little cute ending to the world, but. I don't know, that just seemed kind of random if you ask me. But whatever. Okay, so now we're done with Deep Jungle. Oh my god. Though we will have to go back there in a little while because there's some other stuff we can do there. <sighs> anyway, we have this this cutscene. Which is... I don't know where this is. We can actually come here later. I hope that's not too much of a spoiler. But yeah, we can stand in that room later in the game. So... That's cool. But it seems the bait was too tasty for his own good. That weird uh, symbol <laughs> with a heart yeah. in the background. He got chomped. He got chomped instead. Hmm. Do you recognize any of these voices? Like or any of these no people? Dun dun dun. Jafar. Well, I guess now but I can tell you that we're going home. to Agrabah, <laughs> which is Aladdin's he. world. That's another world I don't like very much, but it's not yeah, that no, bad. I like it more than Deep Jungle. Besides, he remains blissfully unaware of our other two. Yes, the princess. Ah, <sighs> yes, the they princesses. They are falling into our hands one by one. Anyway, fun fact, actually, because you can do this before you do Alice in Wonderland. You can do Deep Jungle before you do Alice in Wonderland, and if you do that, then they will have. Someone else. <laughs> um, I'll just tell you, they'll have Snow White instead of Alice. So that's kind of neat, I suppose. Uh, well, guess we'd better get going. Where is your ship, anyway? Well, uh, not too far. Sora, Tarzan, Fritz. Sora obtained Jungle King. Oh, this is actually quite cool. Um... This is like a, a new keyblade for Sora, basically. Um, and we learned the Red Trinity. Now, we haven't seen very many Red Trinities, but they're around. So that's neat. Neato. And now we're back at the Gooby Ship. The Gooby Block that came out of that glowing hole. It's not like the others. Wonder what it's used for. I don't know. Maybe Leon will know. Hmm, he might. Back to Traverse Town, then? I want to be pilot. Hey, stop it! Oh, come on, I'm the Keyblade Master. I don't care who you are. No! 
Here we go again. Oh my god, my throat hurts. Why does my throat hurt? It's like sore. I guess from talking for an hour and 15 minutes. Since I started recording. Uh, uh, we still have like five minutes. We could actually go back to Traverse Town probably. We could do that so we can go through Olympus Coliseum or through Wonderland. We'll go through Wonderland. That's kind of nice. Actually, there are a few things we could do in Wonderland. You know, before we head back to Traverse Town. But yeah, Traverse Town is our next destination. So I don't know, I'll figure out what I'm going to do on the way there. So maybe I can figure out something to talk about. Oh, you know what? I said several videos ago that... <laughs> several, I mean like ten videos ago. Because I've recorded like... You know, we must be up to like seven or eight by now. By this one. Um... But, you know, in real life, it was only, like, a few videos ago. Anyway, I said that, uh, usually, uh, people who watch LPs tend to have played that game before, but I don't think that's actually true, and I was kind of hasty in saying that. Because, while it's true I didn't really watch Nintendo Capri Sun's Banjo-Tooie LP, I have been watching his Metroid Prime LP, and I haven't played Metroid Prime, so, I don't know, kind of hypocritical, I suppose. You know, that's another thing I've been meaning to talk about. There's sort of this... This doesn't have anything to do with video games. This is just something I've been thinking about. Like, what's... Okay, so what's so bad about being, like, a hypocrite or being hypocritical or anything? It seems like there's such, like, an idea that being hypocritical is, like, wrong or bad or, you know... So, if you know, if I said... I don't know, if I was talking in one of my LPs and I said one time... You know, I think it's lame when people don't 100% gains in their LPs or something. Not that I would say that. I'm not. I don't really mean that. It's just an example. Um, and then I did an LP where I didn't 100%. Would that be hypocritical? Yes, it would be. Now, what would be wrong with that? Because what I said is what I what I you know presumably said is that it's lame when people don't 100%. But then I mean. If I don't 100%, that means that I think myself is lame. Okay, I think my own LP is lame, would be what that meant. But that's okay. You can do that. And I mean, what people can change their mind, you know? I could change my mind, decide, you know, maybe for a certain game, 100%ing isn't appropriate or whatever. Anyway, I didn't... That's not even a good example. I wish I thought of a better one to, to use there, but... I don't know, it's just something I've been thinking about. Like, what's what's wrong about being hypocritical? It's like, everybody understands. Like, if someone gives you advice, it's not like they're saying you're a bad person or anything, or like, oh, you're so stupid to have done it this way, or something like that. Like, I wish I, I, wish I could think of a better example. My brain's kind of dead from recording for over an hour. But, um... <laughs> I don't know, it's just something I've kind of been meaning to talk about, because it's an interesting idea. Because I agree, I feel the same way. They're like, you know, if someone insults you or, you know, does something like that, or even gives you advice or criticism, but, I mean, in a not very constructive way, you know, one response is to try to find the other person doing exactly what they say you're doing. Um, so you can, you know, point at that and be like, well, haha, ha, you're doing that too, or whatever. But it's like, I don't know, it's not like... I mean, I, uh, it's sort of hard to explain, but it's it's not like that person in giving that advice is saying that, you know, whoever does that is like a bad person or something. I mean, that's kind of the difference. Sometimes when we, I think sometimes when we hear things, we kind of oversimplify them. And that's kind of one of the reasons I don't really like to analyze things too much. I don't know, I actually do analyze things quite a lot sometimes overanalyzing things. But I'm the kind of person that will like point out certain things that could be analyzed, but I won't want to analyze them. <laughs> so it's the kind of thing where, you know, in a poem I might point out something, like I might point out a metaphor, but I'm not gonna be the one who's gonna try to analyze that metaphor and figure out what it means and why the author put it there, because I don't really, I don't know, I feel like that's, um, like synthesize it I, uh, that's like oversimplifying it it's like taking away the metaphor i mean 
You know, if he says Juliet is as pretty as the sun, that's not the same as saying I think Juliet is beautiful. Those are different statements. So I think sometimes when we analyze metaphors or whatever, it like takes away from the metaphor. It's like just, well, why'd he even use the metaphor if all you're going to do is, you know, analyze it and figure out what it's supposed to quote unquote mean or whatever. Anyway, we're coming up on 11 minutes. I'm glad we're finished with Deep Jungle. I'm sorry about the past few videos because, ugh, I don't know, I don't know. But thanks for watching Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. I suppose, can we go to the accessory shop? I'd like to save. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. Next time we'll do some stuff in Traverse Town. So thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.